Let's have a look at dynamic disks now. This is a Microsoft technology, so you won't find this on Linux systems or Apple systems. This was actually a way that Microsoft was doing things that were similar to RAID before RAID was popularized. In the case of dynamic disks, volumes can span multiple physical disks. Now you notice I used the term volume rather than the term partition. They kind of mean the same thing, but when we're dealing with dynamic disks, we call them volumes. When we're dealing with basic disks, we call them partitions. So what can you do with these things? Well, there are five different types of dynamic uh, disks that you can set up. Simple, mirrored, striped, spanned, and RAID 5. So let's take a look at those. I'm going to open up my disk manager again. And... Let's just uh, go ahead and right click on here. Actually, I need to right click over here. And if this were a dynamic disk, which it's not, it's set up as a basic disk. You can see here I have, if I leave it alone, it's a simple disk. By simple disk, I mean that these volumes act just like the volumes on a basic disk. They do not span from one disk to another. However, I can set them up to span if I want to. I can set them up to stripe if I want to. If striping is very similar to RAID 0, if I set them up to be mirrored, then they're like a RAID 1. Or I can use the RAID 5. So I have these four options in addition to simple. Now I can convert this, I'm not going to do it here, but I could convert this disk from a basic to a dynamic. You can see here when I right click, I have the option to convert to dynamic disk. If I did that, then one little problem, and that is that I can't convert it back again without losing my data. I can make it go from basic to dynamic without losing anything. But if I want to go back from dynamic back to basic, I will have to completely reformat this disk and I will lose all the information on it. As a matter of fact, you would get a warning if you tried to do that. 